everybody. Uh, waiting for a few more people to come in. Um, but for those that are here right now, welcome to another episode of the O2 Classroom brought to you by First Class Medical. Uh, if you don't know me or haven't seen my videos on our website, I am Corey Luckner. I am one of the owners of the uh, company. I do a lot of the educational videos uh, for our company here so to help you make your decision when buying a portable washer concentrator, or if you have a portable washer concentrator, you probably have seen my videos after you purchase because we make sure to set you up with all the knowledge that you need to make sure that you're using your unit uh, the best that it can be used and having the best longevity uh, that you can get out of it. Um, today's gonna be a pretty good uh, show uh, for the O2 classroom here. We're gonna be talking about one of the most popular manufacturers. I'm sure you guys already kind of uh, know which units these are. Um, you most likely have seen them on TV for the last few years. Uh, Inogen um, is who we're talking about here. The Inogen units are by far the most popular units on the market. Um, with the portable oxygen concentrators, they were one of the first manufacturers in the game, and uh, they've done a pretty good job as far as their new units every uh, few years. Um, the Units you see in front of us were only missing one, which was their original Enogen one. Each G2, G3, G4 is the next generation, and the Enogen one they no longer make. The G2 they have stopped, um, so it's mostly just the G3 and G4s now. G4 being, of course, their newest unit, but uh, each unit has been always known for their battery life, and then now they have the G4, which is not only great on battery life, but obviously, as you can tell, Great on the size, great on the weight, and uh, it's pretty pretty quiet compared to most portable concerts that you might have been used to. Um, I did to say one thing that impressed me with the newer model Indigens are is the fact that uh, how quiet that they've made these units. Um, I've been doing this for a very long time. Now I know the time that the home units, even now with the Everbook Q and all that, that we carry, is so much quieter. But back in the day, you turn those things on. Yeah, I'd hide the unit all the way in the closet in another room just to fall asleep. Well, uh, they've done a very good job at keeping them small, keeping them quiet, and giving everything they kind of want out of it. So, to go into the engine units, uh, one of the biggest highlights with the engine models from the G2, G3, and G4 is the fact that they have an intelligent delivery system and sleep mode technology. What does that mean? So basically what's happening is these are pulse flow concentrators. Um, for those that may not know, um, we get this question or get asked all the time is, continuous flow portable concentrators range from 10 to 18 pounds. Um, so normally if you're seeing anything under 10 pounds, well, if you, right, as of right now, if you see anything under 10 pounds, it's not continuous flow, it's pulse flow. But your doctor, everybody you kind of really have talked to probably through your experience of being diagnosed um, and put on oxygen has always said, at night, continuous flow, this is what you must have. Um, with the new technology, not saying that you should uh, do it, but with the new technology, with the sleep mode technology itself, you can actually use these units at night now. Um, back in the day, the reason why they didn't recommend the, the pulse flow units for nighttime use was due to the fact that pulse flow, you have to breathe through your nose in order to get that oxygen. So when you breathe in, you get that psh, psh. That's the on demand, that's the pulse flow going each time you breathe in, it detects that breath pulses oxygen into your system, uh, body, system, I'm all talking uh, technical here. Um, when it comes to these units, the other issue was obviously the candle and all that stuff. I mean, then you, it might be a brow, mouth breather at night, you open your mouth, breathe in your mouth, no breath detected, do you just not get in your oxygen? Well, with the sleep mode technology uh, brought to you by Energy, they've made it where even the slightest detection of breath from the nose will actually trigger that pulse making sure that you're getting that oxygen at night. Now, I do want to mention one thing. Um, we do get customers that also call in so excited to get one. They're like, all right, great, I'm getting a pulse flow. It's going to work for me that night with the continuous flow. Let's do it. If you use a sleep apnea device, you cannot use a pulse flow concentrator. Sleep apnea devices such as CPAPs, BiPAPs, all that, they actually need to have continuous flow. It's called bleeding in the oxygen and it has to have a steady flow of oxygen in order to actually work with the sleep or any sleep apnea device. So don't go and try using your engine unit or pulse flow sleep mode technology units on your CPAP, BiPAP, it's not gonna work, don't do it. 
Um, we want to make sure that you're taken care of. That's our main priority here. And we want to make sure you know when purchasing the portable concentrator what your requirements are, your needs are, that we fulfill them. So if you're sleep apnea, the sleep mode technology will not work. But uh, like I said, the nicest part with these engine units are the fact that they do have the sleep mode technology, the intelligent delivery, where you will be able to get that breath detection, even with the slightest breath through your nose. Um, now to go over some of the units, I know a lot of uh, you guys have seen them on TV, maybe never talked to anybody, anybody about them or done too much research. Now you're either at the beginning of your research or you're like a pro and you've already done a lot of research or talked to our guys here and they've helped you out. Um, you know when they call in here that uh, they're going to talk about the engine units. The reason why is we're looking at uh, probably one of the best units on the market with durability, with reliability. We don't want to sell something that's going to come back that just doesn't make any sense. Um, so when it comes to the engine models, we've definitely put a lot of trust in their units and uh, a lot of patients have put a lot of trust in their units and we found on our side and their side that they uh, absolutely enjoy the unit. So kind of go over the engine models. Um, what you're looking at here once again is the Engine 1 G2. You have your Engine 1 G3 and then you have your Engine 1 G4. So we'll start with the Generation 2. Uh, the Generation 2, this unit uh, used to only go to 5, uh, now with the newer models that ca uh, came out once again, this a couple years ago, a few years ago, they now go to a setting of 6. Um, the units, all of these units have two types of batteries. I always make it easy for the customers and say, there's a big battery and there's a little battery. So kind of the example of the G2 here, you got your bigger battery, yeah, your little battery. But they go based off of the cells and such that are actually in the batteries. These are lithium ion rechargeable batteries. So with the G2 itself, you're going to have a 12 cell and a 24 cell. 12 cell, 24 cell. The 12 cell is obviously going to do half the hours as a 24 cell. So on the Engine 1 G2 itself, you're going to be looking about on a setting of two. Now, when you look at these websites and you're going around, I guess I have to mention this because everybody gets kind of confused on this part. When you see the amount of battery life that is normally used on a unit on their product pages of any site that you go to or talk to reps, they're always based off a setting of two. Um, that just seems to be the con what they find is a common setting for oxygen patients. So uh, we'll be speaking in settings of two. It kind of varies as you go up. The higher you go up, the little bit lower of the battery life. So um, it will change there. Our website has charts on each uh, product page where you can actually break down and see, okay, I'm on a setting for how many hours am I gonna get? For the G2, the 12 cell battery will give you four hours of battery life. The 24 cell battery is gonna give you eight hours of battery life. Uh, it's quiet, these all come with a three year warranty. So they back their units up with a pretty good warranty and uh, once again, it's I, I know why. You rarely have the same go in, so it's, I love the unit. I mean, I, as you can tell, and it's just one of my favorites. So um, with the G2, you will have the option of the travel cart with a telescopic handle. So you can actually roll it around like a suitcase. You'll have your custom carrying bag. All these come with custom carrying bags where you have uh, your shoulder, handle strap, however you want to carry it. Um, but the G2 itself, this unit's going to weigh about seven pounds. Um, and they get lighter as the new generations go on, but seven pounds on the G2. Um, once again, it goes into a setting of six, and has two battery options. That would give you four or eight on a setting of two, four or eight hours. G3, um, out of the three units here, this is by far the most sold, um, which I'll explain here in a little bit. Um, actually, I'll just explain to you now. So the reason why the G3 is so great is we have customers come in, and I know that at the end of the day, you want the lightest weight. But then at the other side, you also want the best battery life because at the same time being comfortable and have a convenient portable concentrator, you also have to have one or want one that doesn't run out of battery life. Well, they were able to keep the battery life and even improve a little bit from the G2 to the G3. So when you're looking at this unit, the big battery, little battery, once again, but it's different. So this was 24 and 12 cell. The G3 is a eight and 16 cell. So the 16 cell is gonna give you eight and a half hours on a battery of two. The eight cell will give you four hours on a battery of two. Oh, I'm sorry, setting of two. The unit itself weighs 4.8 pounds. It goes up to a setting of five. Um, if you've looked at the G3s when they first came out, they were setting of four. Their newer units have the high flow, um, which is up to a setting of five. And once again, eight hours on that, 8.5 hours on that um, 16 cell battery makes this unit one of the best units on the market in its class for battery life. 
Uh, it's also very quiet. So if you're going to a movie or going to church or traveling on a plane, it's not really a unit you can have to worry about bothering anyone around you because uh, we do get that a lot and I cannot totally understand that. Um, but once again, it has a sleep mode technology and the uh, intelligent delivery. It's an amazing unit. Uh, these are all FAA approved, by the way, so with all major airlines that have been looking to travel, trust me, they've seen the Indigen. It is by far uh, the most sold out there as of right now. And then the great part with the Indigen 1G3, well, I guess not so great part with the Indigen 1G3, is it doesn't have a travel cart. Um, it only has its backpack. Uh, it also has a custom carry case, so you can have a shoulder and handle strap. So one of the biggest complaints we got with our customers was, well, yes, it's lightweight, but I'm fragile. Um, I'm 90, 80 pounds, and I do think it's a great unit you know, as far as the weight, but that is still heavier for me. I'm on auction on it. Completely understand. So it doesn't come with a traveling cart, but we have actually made our own traveling cart. It's called Portables. Um, it's the Engine 1 G3 rolling bag by port Portables, and what it is, it's the coolest thing. Lisa, actually, you don't get to see her, she's behind the camera, but she made the whole thing, and she is probably one of the best employees, is the best boy here, I'll just say it since right here, because of the fact <laughs> you heard that, here, folks. Uh, yeah, <laughs> because of the fact that uh, she truly always is trying to look for ways to make our auction patients' lives easier, and she listened and talked, she's always on forums, she's listening to everything you guys say on Facebook, and she went out of her way, created a bag that fits on the unit that also is a backpack, a custom carrying case, and a rolling backpack, so a travel cart with a telescopic handle all in one. It's called the Portables Energy 123 Rolling Backpack. It's amazing. It lets you have all three ways of carrying it. Um, and one, it has great room for accessories, so you can have your batteries, everything in there while you're rolling around, and it's just, it's amazing. So. Um, there used to not be a cart, but now with our, our with our backpack, rolling backpack, you can have that option. And then the G4. So now I'll kind of explain, I'm sorry, I don't think I really explained why people go with the G4 over the G3, but now the G4, it's the lightest one of their units. So this unit itself is gonna weigh just about 2.8 pounds with the single battery, 3.3 pounds with the double battery. Once again, it's a small, big, single, double, or if you go to sales, it's a four cell, eight cell. Um, and the eight cell, this, the reason why this unit doesn't sell as well as the G3 is a fact of, yes, it's amazing in weight, about a pound, uh, a, little, a little over a pound in some cases, depending on the battery. The issue though is the battery life. So when you're looking at like the smaller battery, um, you're only gonna get 2.7 to be exact hours on the uh, four cell battery, a smaller battery. And on a bigger battery, the eight cell battery, you're gonna get five hours. So you're sacrificing some battery life for about a pound or a little bit more of a pound weight. And a lot of the customers that we deal with are kind of like, you know what, I like the healthy mix of both. I can handle that little bit of weight. So they go for that eight hour unit for the G3. Um, that's really the biggest difference between the two is that you sacrifice battery life to get weight, or you get some uh, sacrifice to the fact that you go and have to get more weight, but you get three hours more battery, three and a half hours more battery life. So one thing I will mention too that a lot of customers actually don't know is these are lithium ion batteries. They are rechargeable. They're just like your phone. You plug it into the wall, you plug it into the car because it will come with your AC, DC, that's your wall and cigarette lighter out um, chargers. You can actually use each one of these units while charging your battery. So let's say the G4, for example, you got your five hours battery life and you're doing some errands and you might be out all day. Thing is, you're only running out that battery life if on your way to, uh, in the actual store because, or running errands and going to the store because when you're in your car, plug it in, you can use it and charge it. Um, if even if there's outlets around, let's say you have your customer carry case, so you're carrying your accessories with you like the AC, DC power supplies. If you may be at a store somewhere that has the plug-in, then you can plug it in. Let's say like you're traveling uh, before your flight and you're about to, uh, you're just sitting in the area where you're waiting to get boarded, plug it in, charge it, use it at the same time. So you're only limited to the battery life for each one of these units when you're not by a cigarette lighter or a wall outlet. Um, once again, the G4 has that intelligent delivery, sleep mode technology. Um, they're great. It has the custom carrying case, shoulder handle strap, no cart. Um, we did not make anything for this because we haven't really found 
Uh, Lisa, I mean, you haven't really found any complaints, right, on the G, no. G4. I haven't seen anything either. No. So People the G4 really seems like to be pretty good without a cart. Um, once again, it's about 3.3 pounds at most when you look at that bigger battery. Um, so they're, they're amazing units, and um, they're all very quiet. They've gotten quieter as they've gotten to the uh, newer generations. As you can tell, they've been smaller, and then they've kept their battery life, and then took some out when they went with the G4. Um, but yeah, that's, once again, uh, one of my favorite manufacturers. Uh, they've been doing it the longest, one of the longest, and they've, they've got a lot of experience in the field, and it's exciting to see where they came from, or where they are, and where they're going. So, uh, I would like to answer some questions that you guys have on the engine units, or just any questions that you might have, just an option to, in general. Okay, so Marlene had a question. Uh, she said that she needs one that she can sleep with. Marlene, let us know if you're on CPAP or BiPAP, because we can make a better yep. uh, recommendation there. But yeah. um, the Mar and Marlene, uh, for you, so if you've hopped on a little bit later, I'll kind of summarize it real quick. The sleep mode technology can be used at night. Um, once again, it detects that slightest breath out of your nose, gives you the oxygen. So the issue is, uh, if you're on a sleep apnea device, you have to have continuous flow. CPAP devices, it's called bleeding in the oxygen, have to have a steady flow in order to actually work with oxygen. Cannot use the sleep mode technology, pulse flow units. So that answers that question real quick. And Dawn had a question about what would you recommend, because she's on continuous flow. What would I recommend continuous flow? Uh, depends on uh, the biggest question is is it to continue what level continuous are you on if you're on a two or lower then I always recommend the respironic simply go the respironic simply go is uh, one of the lightest weight continuous flow for washing contours respironics is made by Philips the electronics company so we've all heard of Philips um, they're pretty great at what they do they're also been in the game very long um, but the assembly goes your two continuous or lower uh, unit. I'd recommend if you're going with a three Personally, I would recommend the sequel Eclipse five um, It is going to be a little bit on the heavier weight. They just haven't quite got there uh, with the technology is making those units Super lightweight and being able to do continuous flow that compressor has to be bigger and it's running a lot of power So as far as the continuous flows two and lower simply go if you had a three Go with the sequel Eclipse 5. If you're above 3, unfortunately, there is nothing today that uh, technology-wise has for us to get us to go for a portable contract that goes higher than level 3. Okay. That's all the questions we got. Right. And also about the, the deal for the video watchers. We didn't mention that yet. Yep. So last time we actually made a general coupon that was used for everybody and it went crazy. So we gotta calm it down a little bit on this one. Um, for the next, uh, basically what we're gonna do is for the first three people that make the purchase, mention uh, coupon code Facebook Battery, Facebook Battery to the uh, respiratory specialist here, and you can get your battery for 50% off with the purchase, additional battery for 50% off with the purchase of a portable contractor. Um, once again, that's Facebook Battery. And that's fifty percent off additional battery if you wish to take advantage of that. We're doing that for three people, so give us a call. You can reach us at one eight hundred five two zero five seven two six. Our respiratory specialists are always here to help, and uh, that's going to end this episode of the O two classroom by First Class Medical. Thanks again for everybody that joined, and uh, see you next week, next Tuesday at eleven p or sorry eleven a.m. Mountain Standard Time.